and learning these lessons is very much going to be supported by the energies that are happening in the next, what, month and a half or so. So, that's good. Yay! Always good news. Um, looks like pretty much the last notable thing I'm seeing here is a square happening between Mars and Saturn. And actually, we're experiencing it right now, August 28th. And we should be experiencing it for about Ooh, quite a little while. Jesus, quite a little while indeed. Hold on. Hmm, <laughs> word. Pretty much about a solid month or so. Um, maybe it's something like 26, 25 days. But <clears throat> this square of, uh, of Mars and Saturn is very much going to be a challenge to, to not limit our, our anger, to not repress it. We're going to have a lot of obstacles pop up that are very much challenging to expressing our anger, especially authority. Saturn is very much a... Uh, repressing in a very um, authoritarian planet, very authoritarian energy. Look at its rings, you know, it's perfectly crafted rings. It very much speaks to the energy of this planet. And when a square is occurring, especially with Mars, um, we're going to be experiencing restriction of some kind. We're going to have to learn how to be very creative in overcoming obstacles. We're going to have a lot of powerful creativity on one hand, and we're going to have a lot of deep emotional control and authoritarian energies in our lives as well. And this isn't just in society and um, involving anything from literally, you know, the government and it's, like I was saying, ridiculousness that it's manifesting right now. Um, but to be expected with Pluto and Capricorn, we've needed to fix all of this shit for a long time. It's been a long time coming, so now is the time to do it and the next decade is the time to do it. If you want insight on that, by the way, I have a video up, uh, Uranus Square Pluto. Uh, I talk about that in spoof. Um, also, astrological advice for Americans, if you're American. Um, this energy is particularly poignant for us because the revolution happened during Pluto and Capricorn. So, you know, it makes sense that we are going to be experiencing a rejuvenation, a transformation, and a rebirth of, uh, of our society's institutions because, um, I mean, now is the time to do it, but especially in this country... Um, we were founded on that. You know, that's when England was... The the British Empire, rather, was having its ridiculousness. And yada, yada, yada. But that's a whole other video. Um, so if you want to check that out, I'll talk about that in those couple of videos. Uh, but this, this deep emotional authority also is going to be in our own lives. We're going to be... With Saturn and Scorpio, which... <laughs> By the way, I talk about in uh, another video, Saturn and Scorpio. Uh, same playlist as this video, actually, the transits and stuff. Oh, so is Uranus Square Pluto. Right. Um, this is a time of deep emotional rebirth, of redefining our lives, our foundations, where we're coming from, um, facing deep emotional fears, repressions, uh, facing oppression from others. Saturn and Scorpio, we really are unearthing everything that we've been burying for so long. And this is, again, happening for everyone. This is a transit that is occurring right now. Saturn in relation to the Earth is, is influencing us in this particular way. Um, and so, with that square of Mars and Saturn... We're going to have incredible progress, you know, squares have a lot of tension, there's a lot of challenges because we're being literally pulled in two different ways, Mars is over here, Saturn that way, and they're influencing us at the same time, so we're just kind of like, what the, you know, fuck, it's a lot to handle, but squares are also richly rewarding, and the more that you work with the square, and you don't just go, obstacles, this sucks, because we always have obstacles in our life, we always, 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 that's just a part of human life, and of life in general is, is obstacles. But getting over these obstacles are absolutely is absolutely possible, you know? Any obstacle can be overcome. And so, 
With this particular square, we're going to have to be very creative and very patient as well um, in overcoming these obstacles. Because basically, you know, Mars and Leo is burning, 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 going forward, moving, uh, expressing creativity. And that's very important. We, we shouldn't limit that. But at the same time, we have to keep in mind our foundation, where we're coming from. And uh, we have to keep in mind our deep emotional state and our deep psychological state. Not just as individuals, but as an entire world. You know, and uh, if you're really far out there, then also the entire universe. So, we'll be experiencing definitely a lot of challenges of restriction, um, emotionally and by those who are very, in a very weird, dark place emotionally themselves, and they'll be then challenging us, uh, especially the the brighter and more free that you are. So the beautiful thing is, as as you shed restriction as you face obstacles and overcome them the more free you are and the more powerful you are to then overcome new obstacles more challenging obstacles that again while challenging because of that square is also deeply rewarding and so face every challenge that comes your way patiently and with the strength and the and the the foresight to know that you're going to get through it and that ultimately it's very cleansing and purifying and very healing to face authority in a mature way, not just a, you know, pouty, Mars and Leo way, or worse, a very violent way. Let's not face it like that. Let's face it very, very calmly with dignity and knowing that no matter what obstacle comes in our way, we will overcome it and we will be deeply rewarded and very, we'll, we'll have enriched ourselves in very rewarding ways by treating it with again dignity and patience and at the end of it we'll have redefined authority we'll have made a huge step forward in not just as individuals but as our entire world we'll have really burned away and and shed the the aspects of our world that we don't need as for you know authoritarian abuses and governmental abuses for example um and also in the individual level we'll have overcome emotional blockages you know everybody at this time will be experiencing that obstacle of how to express themselves more fully while still honoring their psychological states and who they are and where they're coming from and uh, it's a very healing process challenging yes but very healing and there's so much potential and this is a wonderful opportunity to really rise above restriction in a very dignified and very powerful way And this is very important also in the grander scheme of Pluto and Capricorn, which is basically this next decade where we will see government, uh, institutional, and authoritarian abuses of power. And it's up to us, every single individual, in a very calm, dignified way to act against that. Not lash out and be violent, that's never a good option, but to be, again, mature and to embrace our personal power without the fear of how it's going to, what other people are going to, how they're going to react. And also this is an incredible, important, progressive step in making our world's institutions healthy and uh, getting rid of all the shit that is accumulated, you know, since the last Pluto and Capricorn transit. And um, I think we'll be seeing a lot of a lot more abuses of power come forth. I mean, we already have with uh, the leakings of Edward Snowden and Bradley Manning, and we've seen the insane, 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 insane reaction, and very fearful. It's very desperate. It's fascinating how fearful and desperate it is of uh, the government, basically, uh, government's uh, um, authoritarian structure sentencing him to 35 years in prison, for example. Um... That will never last. That's insane, dude. That guy's a fucking hero for for showing it, the the abuses of power that's occurring at such great personal risk. And um, this next month and a half will be very instrumental in, in burning away, again, burning away what we don't need and rebirthing it into what we do. So... Stand strong as an individual. Be a part of what's happening. Don't become cynical. Don't try and hide 
It's not going to get you anywhere. At the end of the day, we all need to stand strong as, as individuals and make this world a better place, one day, one step at a time, in our own particular ways. And uh, supporting, you know, our brothers and sisters that are also making this world a better place in their own particular ways. And not through violence, not through oppression, through a, a healthy channel of anger and an, a healthy outlet. Because anger is a very powerful energy. You know, as the Clash said, as Joe Schumer said, anger can be power. And as John Lydon said, Johnny Rotten of Sex Pistols and uh, Public Image Limited said, uh, anger is an energy. So let's use this anger. We're going to be experiencing a lot of fucking anger for sure. Um, but let's use it to make this, to make ourselves and to make the world better. Because why not? <laughs> you know, we might as well. And now is the, is the right fucking time to do it. So. Uh, that feels good. I think that's pretty much everything I see that's worth talking about. So, cool. <sighs> Namaste.